Hi guys, welcome to my Floss Tube. My name is Emily. You're very welcome here. Um, I'm back on Thursday. It is Thursday the 25th of May. I have nearly made it through May. Wow, May has been a big one. I've had, oh, this, this, this is technically day two off that I've actually not worked in May. Um, and I'm going to work today. <laughs> I'm literally proving a point now. I'm stubborn <laughs> and I'm proving a point. So I have to get to the end of this month and then I am starting my new job and I am going to be very, very happy with that. I had a day off on, when did I actually get a day off? I can't even remember. Anyway, I did have, was I off on Friday? I was off last Friday when I recorded, wasn't I? And then I was meant to be off on Monday and I got called into my new job. He forgot to message me. He said, oh, I forgot to send, press send on a message asking if you'll work Monday and Sunday. Because for the first time in forever, I'm only rotated on four days at my current job, which really, if I'm doing 12 hour days, I should only be doing four days a week. And that's still 48 hours when I'm only paid for 40. So you can see the issue with me doing five and a half ish. Yeah, it's too many hours. The last month I've clicked between 53 and 57 hours each week she's making lots out of me so I'm taking it back <laughs> hence why I'm finishing at the end of the month anyway right by the by hello if you're new I don't think I have anybody new who's never watched me before I live in a constant saga of job issue <laughs> where I do an awful lot of hours get no thanks for it and I'm changing my job because I've been uh, three or four videos back, I was like, oh, right at the end of my rope. But now I'm feeling very much better and I'm very much looking forward to June and a new challenge and new people. And hopefully it's all just going to be ever so much easier for me because I should have three days off a week. Because <laughs> I'm then going to be doing, because then I am going to be doing four 10 to 12 hour shifts. Which is perfect. And days off not five and oh can you come in like today today is just really really bad management so we've got uh 38 quite old golfers out on the course they started playing they're, they're going out now they're going to be four hours so one person front of house can't feed all these guys in any walk-ins and the people and the coffees and can have a scone and can have cake and oh could I, we've just popped in for some lunch you know one person front of house can't physically do that so there was nobody else on the road to there, so they've asked the Tuesday, Wednesday lady if she will come in today for some hours. And she said, well, I can, but I have to leave at two o'clock. So the golfers are going to be pottering in from about half past one. So I just said, oh, look, for goodness sakes, I'll come in at two o'clock and I'll, I'll, I'll help the other lady who is on all day serve the food proving a point that you've got to be flexible and it, the rotors, the rotors stupid. Anyway, that's why I'm going in on my day off. So I thought to do a video. I've already done lots of washing up. I've got washing on my washing line. I've actually been outside and um, I've got the second load of laundry in finishing in a minute, third load, third load ready to go in because I've not been off. I've literally like the house keeps running, but laundry gets done a bit and things get put away a bit you know it, I just I need to blitz this place needs a blitz so hopefully in June I'll get a bit of time to start the process and hopefully by about Christmas I might be a bit more sorted out I'm really hoping cross stitch my channel is about cross stitch as I say I don't think anybody's terribly new if you are welcome you're always going to get a life update from me I talk incessantly get your stitching stitch along <laughs> that's what you get from me right anyway i have worked on four things in the last six days and i've really enjoyed you know what i've really enjoyed my stitching since i've had oh i'm gonna have to get up anyway i've left my mum's thing over there i'll get it now so i'm not scuffling in a minute hang on so since i'm feeling a hell of a lot better Oh yeah, I was putting my back against whatever this is on my sofa. So <laughs> it's just like I'm gonna hide all the 
bad stuff on my sofa. And then, of course, I lean over there and then you can see that my son has... It looks like chocolate. It's probably chocolate. I wasn't here at Easter. I wasn't here at all. I haven't been here for how long have I not been here for? <sighs> Going to change. So, yeah, I've really enjoyed my stitching. I think I made a really good decision to just not beat myself up and batter on with May and just do what I wanted to do. So I actually have five things to show you this week. So I'll start with my treasure hunt bookshelf because I did put in, I haven't done the green, I haven't done any green, but I did put in, oh, I did a little bit of a different green actually. Um, and there might be a little screenshot of the corner last week here. I did put in just a little bit more. I'm here now, so this bit here is probably new because there's the greens up here. This corner is completely finished and filled in now. And I put there's a big tree here that a little fairy's hanging from. So I put in some work here. So that is again, if anybody's new and hasn't seen me before, I'm do I'm on a 10 year plan with a super sized max color treasure hunt bookshelf. And I started in the top right hand corner just because I've started this twice before. So I've got quite a good and I do one percent a month. So this is now month. 13 for me and I'm at 13 percent and a little bit so I decided that in May I was just going to stitch only on this and do monogamous May which I didn't stick to because I just fancied stitching on something else but I want my my goal was to reach the top left corner which I have and I've done it by just counting stitches obviously using pattern keeper obviously using the grid lines it all lines up it's all there it's all good and I've got my corner in so now if I fancy stitching this tree, I can come over here and stitch on this tree. If I fancy stitching whatever is here, I can come here and count down and stitch. And or if I just want to carry on with what I've been doing, I can fill in some of the bits over here. It just it gives me a really good key to work wherever I fancy. If I see a bit I want to work on and just think, right, I'm just going to do that bit. I can. And I've also got quite a bit of the the, the sky cloudy stuff in. So I've left Treasure Hunt bookshelf at, um, let me just pull him up on Pattern Keeper, I'm at 13.05 and I've selected, I've selected, 907 is now selected so I, I may or may make, yeah there's quite a lot of 907 to shove in just in that immediate area in that corner. It's a, it's one of those beautiful lime green colours so I kind of want to put in these stitches. I might, I might do for you, May. I might do it. I might wait till June. Again, I'm only heading for 14% um, at the end of June. So I've done, well, 0.05 is 350 stitches of June's 7,222. So I've not done much extra, but a little bit, little bit extra. So that's all I've done of that. And then I picked straight up last week after I recorded my Stitching Goddess, which is my only tiny modernist. It's one of two patterns you get when you buy this. I just bought this as a PDF off Etsy. Um, and I think I have a, a picture of what it looks like finished. And if I've got a picture of the bonus chart you get with it, I'll pop that up too. I hand dyed this piece of fabric. It is, I think, 32 karat Lugana. It was white and I did mottly blue. It's a little bit bluer than that. That's that's looking quite I'm trying to get it. It's a it's that colour. That's the colour the fabric actually is. It's really quite blue. That looks wishy-washy. It's actually that colour. So she looked like this when I pulled her out and hadn't I think I I think I stitched a bunny in her in um spring. It might have been this year, it might have been last year, I can't really remember. But I don't know how many stitches I've put in. I will I can work it out because I know where I was when I picked her up. Um she's at about 52% now. But she's there now. So what did I do? I've put in a uh, the, the gussets on her dress, where the fold, the, not gussets, the folds in the fabric of her dress, 
I coloured in the head, I've done the finished off the hedgehog because that was the same colour. I've done some of these pinks, I filled in this flower. She doesn't look very happy. I have given her a smiley face. She does have a smile. I gave, I put some half stitches in. She's smiling to me, but on the screen she looks unhappy. She is smiling. Um, so that's just parked out of the way because that's these these red little dots and I'll I'll fill them in when I've got a better placement for them. Um I've done these I finished off this pink here did a bit some bits I've done a few bits I put in a little bit of work on her um what I'm gonna try and do is get all the interesting bits done in her dress and the down the down the side of this dress so that I can just fill in the dress with the dress colour which is seven 746 very very pale yellow color so there's another there's a there's symmetrical animals so a bit of the squirrels have gone in so there's two squirrels there's two bunnies what's the other what's below the bunnies oh it's not there we go um i actually don't know what's below the bunnies let me look at the pdf ducks there's ducks here under the bunnies and then lots of flowers and leaves. Oh, it's so pretty. It's so pretty. Oh, goodness, lots of flowers and leaves. Yeah, I've got lots to do. She's very pretty. But I picked her up and she's really mm, that kind of colour. She's very, very vibrant. Very pretty. So I picked her up and did some work on her, which is good. I'm happy with that. Um, I am still chugging along a couple of couple of strands a day with the five gold rings i'm now here oh sorry i should show you here is where i was last week with it and now it's here so I've, i'm getting on i'm plugging away at my gold if i come up close you can see how terrible the stitches are they are awful but the gold stitches don't look so bad from over here do they <laughs> i'm doing these one a month I'm going to turn them into little flat folds for my mum so because and then she can put she, my mum's the kind of lady that will actually change them out for the 12 days so one a month this is May's I really want to get it done I want to stay on track I want you want to get a little bit ahead I'm not going to be able to fit more than eight on this piece of fabric because my fabric's that size it was just a scrap of it's DMC and I think it's 18 count so I'll find another scrap for the last four. I have fabric literally everywhere. So I'll find another scrap for the last four. It came with 14 count. I wasn't happy with it. It was huge and bulky and the stitches you were, you could see the fabric behind the stitches. And on White Ada, I, d I don't want to see the fabric behind stitches on 14 count. Um, so I switched it out to 18 count. There was beads and sequins came with it and I was really worried that it was going to look terrible with huge beads and sequins, but there's like, eight sequins and 12 beads so it they're going to be fine um so when when i'm up to eight and this fabric's full i'm going to finish these while i because i can stitch on 9 10 11 and 12 while i get these finished too so we've got a bit of a process to go with this one but i've done quite a bit um when i'm sitting out the back in the kitchen I'm having a little breather. It's getting awfully hot in the kitchens at the moment. Oh, kitchen in my the kitchen in my new job. Oh my god! There's a really tiny kitchen in the cafe, and it's all gas. It is so hot. I'm fine as long as I don't get cold. And then I come back in, and it's like, oh my god, it's hot in here. If I'm just in there the whole time, it's like being down a ship's engine room. You don't really feel how hot it is until you get cool and then go back into the heat. If you just kind of warm up with it and don't leave. So I'm tending to just stay put. So that I don't feel how bloody hot it is but it's fine I really like it so there we go I'm filling in bits and bobs as I go that's in my work bag which is why it was over there that's good um and then I've been oh, sorry um so I've, I've been stitching on my pilgrim my first long dog sampler I ever started and I've got four pages left but now I only have three pages left I have page finished which I meant to do last month but I love stitching on this and I needed bright color so I pulled it out 
Um, if I've got a picture of how it was the last time I showed it to you, I'll put it here. I might not have done. What I have done is finish the page. The page break is here, down the side here. So anything this side is on page 10. So I've got 10, 11 and 12 to go. Um, the horse was a bit of an undertaking to get him done, which is probably why the page took so long. Um, but I'm going to move him along the bus a bit so that all of this page is in, in the middle here. And I think I'm just going to keep doing what I'm doing, just adding on. I'd really like to get it done. The rest of it is all here. Oh, the colour is good today. So I do have, that is the bottom and pretty much all the top. Not all the back stitch is done. I did completely mess up with this. As I was finishing pages, I was throwing them away because it was a paper pattern I bought. The full pattern keeper came out and I threw the pages away when I finished because they were obviously all marked off, not realising that the back stitch was on the pages too. And then I couldn't find my last four pages. I have them in this house. They are here, but I downloaded the pattern. I, I paid it twice, downloaded the pattern, and now I can back stitch. Um, some of the back stitches, uh, none of the back stitch on this page is done, but I don't think there's a great deal. I just think there's antenna to do and little bits and bobs. Um, and this little thing here, that has a little bit, that those little things there, they have a little bit of back stitch on them. So I will go back and fill in the back stitch of it. But um, yeah, I'm chugging along with this one quite neatly. And it's now at. Um, 77.96 so I'm very very nearly at 78% so there's still three full pages to go it's not quite as bright as this the purple I can't um this one isn't this one isn't picking up nicely but as you can see right this is this is being stitched with Mrs. Sader's uh, silk darling colorway I'm not color controlling other than following you can see I followed the contour of this horse here and I did do I suppose in some bits I definitely didn't color control when I started because this was about the third or fourth piece I started bear in mind I've got 50 to 60 whips this was like my third or fourth start so I didn't understand about color controlling and things like that so it's got better as it's got on so um, some of it like this I am literally just stitching as it comes as the colours change and some things like I've deliberately stitched him backwards and forwards and him I deliberately stitched that bit was green so I then joined on the green to do the bottom and then I've stitched him you can see I ended up doing a bit of a triangle into the middle there and I stitched I stitched them down the way but it's brilliant there's very very little actually where you get the very very light greens there's very little of the colourway so there isn't a lot of it that does see some of the pages I backstitched as I went like this bit here is being fully backstitched but then there's bits above it oh there's a, like there's a little snail there in backstitch but I know full well that there's other bits that have absolutely no backstitch on them so I need to go through quite thoroughly when I finished and double check I still haven't backstitched opening gambit so is he technically still a whip? Very possibly. Anyway, I'm going to carry on and keep on trucking with this one. I'm not going to say I'm going to finish it yet. I will finish it eventually. It's a big, it's a very big long dog and I'm quite close to finishing it. This will definitely be my biggest long dog finish for sure. Um, the next the next really, really big one I have is Pandemic and that's at like 11% and it's it's a forever piece for me really. Um, anyway, I've done some and then I was going to pick up and get on with my Shores of Hawk Run Hollow, which is a glorious Technicolor version that I am stitching in anything I fancy. So I rippled about and I pulled out the colours that I had from, these were all still in a little baggie, from my new normal, my first start of new normal I have since restarted it and they were I was going to stitch him completely in the variegated so I've got these are mostly DMC's 4030 that's me 
this is actually uh, pansy purple it's crescent colours which I believe is what um, these people turned into gentle art maybe I've got this is I've got randoms in here that's all I think not hundred I can't quite remember somebody will know anyway I've got pansy purple and I've just dropped on the floor and I've got 4128 and I've got 4200 and I've got weak sigh works garnet which kind of does a nice it's deep burgundy it's not that bright it's not bright red by any stretch of the imagination it's beautiful so I thought right well my block is a piece of pattern poo um, I don't have the block I'll blow up a bit of the picture and put it here for you because I can only show you pattern and I'm not allowed to do that obviously because that is an entire block and I can't put that up so I thought well the stars I'll do in those and I'll do the moon in some devil hair a acrinic very fine braid 001 which is silver so I thought I've bought that I don't know what I bought that for any anyway, I bought it for something it's not it's not I don't know why I bought it I bought it for for something and haven't either finished what I was it was uh, Barbara Anna I did it I did a Barbara Anna it was the cake stand I think and I bought that to do because that was what that was what was charted for the stars um, on that I think and so I've got that left so I thought I'll do the I'll do the moon in that and then all the little it's got like almost little millifori concentric circles all over all over the moon I thought I'll do those using the variegated so I'm just going to place them wherever I place them if I assign them a symbol I'll do it I'll use them wherever that wherever that symbol occurs if you see what I mean I'm not going to be too crazy I'm just going to assign a symbol to each color and just go with it and then the words I wanted something light but not white so I've got an old anchor 271 which is like a shell pink in my hand it's clearly pink so I thought well I'll do the words in that because it'll pop against this pale blue shell actually pushed into a q-snap it's not half bad to stitch on I always avoid it like the plague so it's here and this is two mornings work here so I did quite a bit of the border but then I didn't count so I had to stop so I didn't go too far but now this star is in the border is one stitch beyond this star so that one's in that's pansy purple and he is quite purple and this one here is in uh, so I've started like the postage stamp that the T is inside the moon above will and I I don't like some of the the lettering like the W's are like 12 squares wide so what I did here was I changed the W and I changed I changed a few of the letters actually because I didn't think I could read them very well so I changed them up a bit because I always change everything I changed the waves because the waves weren't smooth the waves were really jiggity jaggedy so I changed them up too this is what I do this is like me at my absolute worst of well it's a beautiful pattern but I'm just going to do it my own way this 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 is me anyway this was my very first this is my oldest whip full stop my oldest whip my second oldest whip was my treasure hunt bookshelf which I restarted so which makes pilgrim probably third so I probably am working on my two oldest whips which I probably should anyway so this is literally two mornings work I get up at half past six I wake my girls up at a quarter past seven I get three quarters of an hour a morning so it's going to be quite slow process but I do get on so I've done quite a bit of the got the silver the gold mm, what's wrong with me um I've done quite a bit of the silver moon and the moon above will um and it says guide my love while he's at sea away from me so I'm going to change those words just a little bit and I'm just gonna I'm not even writing out the charting I'm just gonna I'm just gonna stitch it um, the the L here should have been right next to the moon and I, I, I carried the thread down and did it and I took that out 
because I realised my great big long W, the W would have been this wide, you see. And I'm like, no, nope, I want a small W. So I took, I frogged that out and I started here this morning and did above will. And then I did this star here and now I'm doing a bit of the top border. Now I can fix the square size in. You can see I just, I just went for it and stopped when I knew I was getting near. I'm about, what, 20 stitches off the edge there. So this is this year's block, but I'm wondering if I might not go just start straight down and do another little block. I'm going to see how I feel. Literally at the moment, I just have to see how I feel and go with whatever I want to do because my brain's got no space in it for anything else. So that's really funny because I stitched this, I stitched this entire block in my lunchtime in the job, in my old painting job. And I look at it and all I can think, all I see immediately is me sitting in that lunchroom with three women who have never crafted in their life. And they just used to look at me like that as they're scrolling Facebook all lunchtime, watching videos, looking at me like that, going, what is wrong with her? And I just used to like drink my coffee and stitch and just ignore them. Fact is, it was a very, very creative job. It was perfect for me. Covid killed it. You can watch that back in all my other videos. <laughs> but the people who they employed weren't crafty. They didn't craft. None of them did. They were, they weren't. It was bananas. It was the most artisan business. And all the crafty stuff was like, done by me. <laughs> and oddly enough, now I left. And the girl I trained with gross apology to take over from me left. She's now a lady window cleaner. She's having a wonderful life. Um, they no longer do the hand painted work because they've got nobody to do it for them. They've got nobody to sort it out. So hey ho. Anyway, guys, I'm just going to keep trucking, stitch on what I want to stitch on. And this time next week, it will be June and Everything should get a whole lot easier. Honestly, it really, really should. Right. I think this is going to be a long enough video. Um, I've got a little bit of splicing to do and some pictures to put in. So not too much editing. I will see you next week. I don't know whether I'll be working on the Thursday, but I will definitely be back next week. I will see you next week. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.